really enjoyed being in our early morning prayer meeting missed them while i was in america so great way to start the day um yeah there's something special about getting up and about while it's still quiet and uh going to pray with other uh, believers so really enjoyed that this morning good morning so um i don't know if you remember back in july we had a big conference and a guy called lou engel was with us well lou engel really stood and provoked us as, as a church to give much more time than we do currently to praying and fasting combining those things together and that there is a tremendous power when a person turns off food turns off the television and dedicates more time to pray and to fast so i came back to hear from america i came back and i've been hearing a stack of stories of people that have been fasting and uh, the results of it in their um, spirit and how they're alive with god and so i just think it's a really powerful thing to do um i'm provoked in that i'm in a season of fasting as well i don't want to talk loads about that i've been in this dilemma what do i say what don't i say so i'm keeping it generic um but the spiritual rewards uh, of your ability to hear god your ability to think faster um the appetites of this natural world kind of pulling away and an appetite desire for god growing um all of that is very very powerful and maybe a little bit later today i'll share a little bit about the power uh, uh, of the health reasons behind it as well because both things benefit greatly i'm gonna go to the office i'm running late i was running on time but just had to have a little lie down and now i'm ready to go So, very quick conversation about the physical benefits of fasting as well. I think our bodies are designed to heal themselves and when we stop in taking food or we reduce the amount of food or we're eating healthier food like a Daniel fast, it gives our body space and time to be able to regenerate, heal and if you do a bit of research on this, I don't have time in this vlog, there are so many stories out there of people who have been healed, non-Christian and Christian, while they've been doing a fast. Uh, a three day fast, a five day fast, a 10 day fast, 21 days, 40 days, uh, water only, and they come out the other end and an ailment they suffered with before is remedied in their life during their fast. I, I heard this recently on a bit of research that your body, it, it exerts so much energy when you eat. It has to process that food. And I think in our Western culture, we eat too much. And so our body's working all the time to digest and it gives less time for the healing process, though it still does heal itself. Uh, and so when we fast, it gives a lot more time uh, for healing, a lot more energy. It's its sole focus. So I think it's a really helpful spiritual thing to do, to get close closer to the Lord, to shut down some natural appetites and also physically great benefits as well. So Joel, where are we going? Youth. First Friday back for them at the youth. I think they're quite excited. The girls went earlier because they were involved in some stuff tonight. So, yep. And then a conversation and a drive with my wife as well. Me and Beth, while we were on holiday, decided that for the next year, this is her final year before she goes to university, uh, it's a big year, next year is going to be a big year, that rather than just our once a month time together, that we would do once a week, and uh, work our way through a book together, and uh, I picked that. Um, the book is only a hook for conversations, but it's a great book. 
Uh, it's called If by Mark Batterson. I read it over the summer, now we're reading it together. But it's also a time just to be able to talk about anything, practical things, spiritual things, relational things, plans for the future. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. And today was our first time. Yeah. Is that good? That's good.